So talking with a friend of mine the other day, he really enjoyed my list, so I thought I'd share it. Here's the 10 reasons I don't have a cat. So first reason is I love to travel. And, but what I really hate is asking friends to come check on the cat while we're out of the town. You know, your friend never shows up on time. They tell you they visited every day. But then we have a suspicion that they only visited twice for a week. Um, so that's why I don't have a cat. Um, so cats get in the way. That's number two. When you're trying to work, you're working on the computer or whatever, they they always get in the way and the cats are independent and they don't want to they don't want your intention unless they want your attention. So as soon as you're sitting down with the laptop, they'll lay right on your hands. Or if you're writing a note notepad the cat will get right between you and the notepad and they try to be all cute and everything. And, um, it's just not what I'm into, you know? Uh, so number three is they're always exploring behind the shelves, uh, behind the TV. They're getting caught in the wiring and then bang, something falls over. Usually it's your TV or, and, you know, cats, they, they get freaked out. So the cat will crawl behind the TV, get all tangled up and freak out when the lamp falls. And they take off. And that's when all hell breaks loose. So that's number three. Number four. Can't count. Number four. Cat hair on everything. They're floating around in the wind. You know, you open the curtain and the light beam comes in and you just see the plethora of cat hair and floating around in the air. And you just start feeling like you're going to hack. So that's number four. Now, number five, cats are hard to train. I have friends that have cats and... One friend actually has a cat that will walk on a leash. They'll go out in town and he loves walking this cat on a leash because nobody knows how he does it. And he said, oh, you just got to train it early. I have another friend. His cat likes to ride his motorcycle with him. And the cat will wear a helmet and goggles. As cool as all hell, but... How do you do? Well, you got to do that from when they're little. And that's, you know, if you want to train the cat, you just got to, you just got to start early. Um, now, number six, cats only want to eat what they want to eat. I have a friend, I was watching their cat and they said, oh, you got to, you open the can and the cat will only eat half a can. Um, and if it doesn't see you open the can, it won't eat. And But they come back and all the cat food is, it, you know, half it's still there. And they're wondering, didn't you feed the cat? And I said, yeah, yeah, the cat ate. Just, you know, I didn't throw it out. They, I didn't have to. And they're like, what? I said, yeah, I just made sure I covered that cat can up. Uh, and they're like, well, the, but the cat won't eat if it doesn't see you uh, open the can. So, well, you know, I just didn't tell them the cat ate, but it just took them a day or two because they'll eat when they get hungry enough. Uh, they They saw me pull the lid off and I threw the metal part down and they, I guess they thought I just opened it. So that's, I just can't deal with throwing out the cat food like that. So that's number six. So number seven, there's, they're always exploring. So, you know, I had a, a 
came over to a friend's house and was there and I had a box and the cat was trying to get in my box the whole time. You know, it was closed up, so it was hard to get in. The harder it was to get in, the more the cat wanted to get in. So I opened it up. I let him see there's nothing in it and it left, but then I closed the box. Damn thing wanted to get back in the can in the box. I'm like, just, oh, yeah, I don't, can't deal with it. Uh, number eight, that was number seven. Number eight, my cat always wants to get into the empty plastic bags. So, you know, you get some groceries, you got the bag sitting on the counter, there's nothing in it. The cat wants to get in it, it's looking around, and, you know, making lots of noise. And then what happens? The cat lays and rolls over and the thing falls over the edge of the table. It falls off the edge of the table in the bag and hit the ground and just went nuts. So you can't have a plastic bag anywhere around. Number nine, we had a, a cat a couple of times. As a kid, we had a cat. And then when our oldest boy was small, he had a cat and that cat always wanted to give us a gift and it would it was supposed to be an inside cat but they always get out so when the cat would get out it would come back and it would leave us a present at the front door often it would be you know a bird or a mouse uh, when i was a kid our cat brought home a rabbit i was impressed i was a big rabbit but there was no head. Every time it brought the, the gift back, whatever animal it brought back, there was no head. In fact, one time the cat brought a kitten in the house with no head. And my wife, I don't know how my wife didn't notice. The cat gets in, there's no head on this cat and it's playing with the cat, like rolling around on it. Oh my God. And it didn't want me to, to get rid of the cat. I mean, there's a dead cat with no head, but the cat fought me. So I had, you know, I finally got the cat, the kitten, but that's another reason I don't have a cat. So number 10, the last reason, well, last of my 10 is, I never found a way to deal with the smell and the mess of the kitty litter. Now I got extravagant. I had a two box system. The cat would walk in one box and they, the I used cardboard boxes. The cat walked in a box that I had a elevated screen in, but it was very small mesh. So the cat was, the, the foot, it wasn't uncomfortable, I guess. The cat wouldn't, didn't mind going in that first box. And then there was an opening that led to the kitty litter box. And the whole idea was sometimes the cats are trying to cover their stuff and it kicks the, the uh, kitty litter out. So that's why I had the first box. But it's still kitty litter got outside the box. And the smell I've heard of people using the, um, they have an automatic thing where every five minutes or something, it goes and scoops it up and dumps it into something and it's supposed to reduce the smell. I've had friends with those things and it, it didn't matter what they did. As soon as you walk in the house, kid, you can smell the urine. Uh, and even worse than that, just the thought of the cat walking around on the countertops after it's been in the kitty litter. It just freaked me out. And, you know, you hear the cat scratching and then later it's in your bed or walking on you or playing with the kids with the same feet that it was in the kitty litter a few minutes ago. Nope, that's my 10th reason why I don't have a cat. 
What are your reasons?